So in this video we are going to learn how to construct angles and we are going to begin with constructing 60 degrees. So right on your screen you're having, uh, constructing 60 degrees is quite easy. We shall use a compass and a pencil only. So we are going to draw a line and just like you're seeing we are going to draw that huge arc to there then shift our compass needle to that point and then we draw another arc right there. And it is as simple as that. After drawing that arc, we are going to draw a line that is going to intersect from that point up to where the two arcs intersect. And that is 60 degrees for you. Let's try and check and see if it is exactly 60 degrees. So I'll get my protractor and try and measure up. And from my measuring, you can see that it is 60 degrees, so um, we are correct. So let's go ahead and construct 30 degrees. So to construct 30 degrees, we are going to first construct 60. Then when we construct 60, then we bisect it. As usual, we are going to get our ruler and first draw a line. And then we identify a midpoint in that line. Then we shall get our compass and uh, draw a huge curve or a huge arc. So while we maintain that the length of, the, uh, of our compass without changing it, we shift the compass needle from the middle to that point. And then we draw another arc like that. And then we draw a line. Of course, that line we are drawing now is representing the 60 degrees. So after drawing the 60 degrees, of course, be, because we're interested in drawing 30 degrees, not 60, so that other line is dotted, the line that is connecting to the center. So now we are going to bisect that. We get our compass needle, put it at the center, draw that arc, and then maintain the, the length of the protractor again, draw another arc. So again, we are going to shift our compass needle, put it at that point, we can elongate the compass needle, uh, the, the, the length of the compass to a new length and then we make sure it is fixed at that length. Then we draw another arc. And then while maintaining that very length, do not change the length of the compass. You shift to the other arc and then draw another arc. And then thereafter, we shall go ahead and draw a line connecting the center to where the arcs intersect and that is how we construct our 30 degrees or oh, just to make sure that we are accurate just to show you that it's exactly 30 degrees we shall uh, get a protractor put it right there and yeah i think you can see that it's 30 degrees so of course after drawing the, drawing the 30 degrees you make sure you label it So from there, let's go ahead and construct 90 degrees. This is pretty simple. We put our compass point at the, at, the, at the center. We make sure we fix our compass length, and then we draw an arc on both sides of that line. After drawing an arc on both sides, making sure that our compass length is fixed, then we shift our compass points and put it on that arc. Now we elongate the compass. We stretch our compass or elongate it until it's just slightly beyond the center of the line. Then we fix it again and then we draw two big arcs on top. Like the way you're seeing, that's the top part. Then we, we, we shift the compass needle to the next point and then we do the same. We, we shift the compass without changing its the, the, the length of its elongation. And uh, then we draw a line from the center down here to connect with um, where the two arcs intersect and that is 90 degrees, right? That's how we construct 90 degrees. Just to make sure that it's really 90 degrees, I'll get my, camp, my protractor and yeah, when I put it there and measure, you can really see it's 90 degrees. There is an alternative way of constructing 90 degrees. 
there's another way so let's look at the second way again i'm going to get my compass and draw the two a uh, huge arc so now what is happening here is that i'm going to get my compass needle while i maintain the length of the elongation of the compass i draw an arc up there i do i elongate my compass needle put it right there then i draw another arc right there and then um, there in a way we have constructed 60 degrees on both sides if you are to draw lines going through so what happens is that i'll get my compass needle elongate it and fix it at a new length and then i draw two arcs just like the way you're seeing and then thereafter i will get my ruler and pencil and i will connect the line down from the bottom here and it will connect to the where the two intersect and that is also 90 degrees that's another alternative way of constructing 90 degrees and by by that i have a, i have actually constructed it by bisecting the middle points no and so just to make sure of course i get my protractor and um, yeah you can see it's 90 degrees so let's construct 45 degrees of course 45 degrees is constructed by bisecting 90 degrees so it means you're going to first construct 90 degrees and then thereafter we bisect 90 degrees and there we'll have 45 bisecting means we are dividing into two so again we shall get our straight line right there and we will do those two arcs shift our compass needle put it at that point and then we shall draw an arc i mean we, we 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 elongate it to a new length the compass we elongate it on we enlarge it we stretch our new compass to a new length we fix that length and then we draw the two arcs like you're seeing on your screen and then thereafter we get a roller and we try and construct or draw the line to connect the two the intersecting arcs arcs and the center so that is 90 degrees but we want to we are constructing 45 degrees so we are going to go ahead and bisect it Of course, this is, I'm assuming here that you're well versed with bisecting. If you're not well versed with bisecting, there's a video on how to bisect. So we're going to bisect 90 degrees. We're going to place our compass point at the center right there. We, we draw an arc to cut up there while maintaining the elongation of our compass. While maintaining the elongation length of our compass, we shift and draw another arc right there. So we shift our compass point, put it right there, draw an arc. We shift it, put it on the other side also, draw an arc. So those two arcs intersect and uh, when we connect that to the center, using a ruler and a pencil, there we are have constructed 45 degrees. So that's 45 degrees for you. Maybe just to check to make sure that it is really 45 degrees. Here is me with my protractor. And when I put my protractor there, yeah, you can see it is 45 degrees now let's go on and um, construct 75 degrees so to construct 75 degrees again as usual i'm going to get my compass needle put it at the center draw a uh, fix it make sure that the compass elongation is fixed 
draw a huge arc like the way you're seeing on your screen. So what we are going to do is we are going to first construct uh, 60 degrees, yeah? So that's like, we, you know how to construct 60. So we draw that arc right there. And then we draw another arc right there. No, let's first do first construct um, 90 degrees. So We draw an arc up there again right there we put we draw an, another arc right there and then we connect that line from up to down that is our 90 degrees of course we do the dotted lines because we do not we are interested in constructing 75 not 90 that's why I'm doing the dotted lines so after drawing our 90 degrees, we are going to do the same. We are going to draw a line there to represent the 60 degree mark. Like that. So after finishing with that, now take note. Uh, we constructed 60 and now between um, the 60 the between the line of the 60 degrees to the line of the 90 degree mark in between there is 30 degrees so if in between there is 30 degrees so if we bisect the 30 degrees we shall end up with 15 degrees on both sides and then if we get the 15 and add it to the earlier 60 degrees, then we have 75. So what we are going to do is that we are going to bisect the middle part. We are going to bisect that 30 degree portion. So again, I'll get my compass needle, put it at the center. We all know how to bisect an angle. So we are bisecting the 30 degrees. So I will draw an arc. I will elongate my compass needle and to, and fix it. Then I'll draw an arc right there. And I'll draw another arc right there. Then I'll shift my compass needle, put it on top right there. Adjust my compass length. Then I get it to a new length that is convenient. Then I make sure I fix it, draw an arc, shift my compass needle, put it right there. Make sure it is fixed again and draw another arc. Then I will draw a line. So right there, we have actually bisected 30 degrees, that middle portion. So after bisecting 30 degrees, Now we have 75. So 60 plus 15 gives us 75 degrees, and that's how we construct 75 degrees. So when you put our protractor just to confirm that we are on track, you find that, yeah, it is measuring 75 degrees. Like this video. If you like it, be sure to subscribe. Check out other awesome content on the channel. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Arnold Rangakuramia, and this is Kisembo Academy. Take care.